before Dr. King died, he took a position against capitalism, against the injustices of capitalism, and against empire. That is the king that we need to reclaim. That is the king who fought for poor people, and he decided that white supremacy will not die unless we kill capitalism and empire as well. That's what we need to reclaim. Now that fascism is coming, on Friday, fascism is taking state power, we can't just be activists anymore. We have to fight to win. We have to organize to win. If we don't win, we will be remembered as a generation who let fascism win. And we cannot let that happen. In order to win, there are three things that we must do. First, we must shut the fascists down. No matter where they are, no matter where they go, no matter what they say, we shut them down. We don't even let them speak. Second, we need to know who our true enemies are. Trump's cabinet controls 30% of the cumulative wealth of this country. His Secretary of Defense, Mad Dog Mattis, got his name for saying, quote, you should have a plan to kill everyone you meet. He has destroyed whole cities in Iraq and Afghanistan, and he has the same plan for Syria and Iran. Third, we must remember that this country was built on the backs of indigenous peoples and black peoples and immigrants, and that these people deserve reparations in the form of wealth and land for all they have suffered at the hands of the United States. And we must demand an end to the American war machine, stealing life, land, and resources from peoples all throughout the world. In order to do all this, it's a lot of stuff. We have to be really organized, more organized than we are now. We need to build up our institutions, and we need to do it outside of the nonprofit complex. If you want to fight fascism, we, you need to join the left. Even the cops, e this is controversial, but even the cops that are out here, the undercovers and the plain clothes, <laughs> capitalism and white supremacy is not working for them. Those cops need to join the struggle. They need to be on the right side of the struggle. And to everyone else, if you're drowning in student loans or can't feed your family, capitalism isn't working for you. We need to become a truly anti-capitalist, anti-white supremacist, anti-patriarchal movement. And I'll say this, we have to develop united fronts. But we have to do it thoughtfully and clearly. We, we build united fronts with people who suffer the harms of capitalism and white supremacy, but we should only build temporary alliances with liberals. Because history has taught us that the liberal establishment class seeks to control and destroy the left. The NLG knows that well. This happened in China in the 1920s, in Nazi Germany, and in anti-colonial struggles throughout the third world. So we have to get ready to fight Bay Area, and we have to get ready to win. We have to put aside all our beef, we have to get organized, and we have to know who our comrades are. So let's get ready to fight and stand united against fascism and lead the path for the rest of the country.